Well, help can't come soon enough for an iconic Twin Cities restaurant. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield explains what it will take to save Mickey's Diner and how you can help. It's known for the food. It's known for the fame. I don't think I've been in there one day where there hasn't been one person coming in just because of the Mighty Ducks. Something the third generation business is not known for is being closed. It's really almost shocking that after all that time, we're closed 24 7. The restaurant her grandfather started in 1939 survived the Great Depression, but it's not clear if Mickey's Diner will survive COVID 19. Well, we've pretty much gone through our reserves. Troubling news to the droves of devoted patrons, like the Smith family from Matamirai. We always went to the Children's Museum. And after that, we would go to Mickey's and eat there. She says the fact that the restaurant is closing and could stay that way is heartbreaking. I think that by it being at a loss, it's going to detriment to a lot of people's families or tradition. So fellow supporters are helping out and donating to this GoFundMe. There's about $13,000 in donations. They need 50,000 to stay afloat. But you still have a whole lot of repairs and maintenance to keep it to keep everything running. You know, our our grill is 80 years old, our signs are 80 years old. So the hope is those who love to dine in will pitch in so that the restaurant that was never supposed to close can open again. Get back to what we've always done, run 24 7. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. The busiest time of the year for Mickey's is the state high school hockey tournaments, which may or may not happen. If you'd like to help support Mickey's, you'll find the GoFundMe page on WCCO.com/slash links.